Uh, movies. <laughs> oh, okay. I watched this movie recently. Yeah. A few days ago, in fact, called uh, Predestination. Okay. All right. I don't want to. Uh, do you want spoilers? Go for it. I'm going to give you spoilers. Who's in this movie? Ethan Hawke is in this movie. So, what happens, right? Yeah. <clears throat> There's this baby born in an orphanage, like the 19, or not born in an orphanage, but somebody drops his baby off, off at the orphanage, at the door of the orphanage in like the 1940s. Right. And <clears throat> it's this baby girl and she grows up and, um, <laughs> obviously she grows up, <laughs> but <laughs> all right, so. She grows up, has these is, adventures. Is the girl Ethan Hawke? Yes. <laughs> Do you already know the story? No. Am I, am I, am I, am I like, right? Yeah. You're, okay, well, let me explain it. So she, she, she grows up. She's in her, like, 20s or, you know, early 20s. Okay. She meets this guy, falls in love. He leaves, right? Okay. She, she gets pregnant, right? So she's pregnant, has this baby, a baby girl, and the baby gets kidnapped out of the hospital. And she's not there because she turns out the the like birth messed her up, and she was actually born with both male and female sets of hermaphrodite. Yes, but she didn't know. But she has functioning both things. Okay. So, so the hospital's like, well. You know, it's messed up your female parts, whatever. So we're going to make you into a man, right? <laughs> so she's like really broken up about it. And she has a surgery. She basically becomes a man, takes like male hormones, starts growing a little bit of facial hair. Okay. And looks quite a bit like a guy. Okay. Right? Like... Kind of like a female, like really feminine Leonardo DiCaprio okay. is what she looks like. So, <clears throat> anyway, l later, she's a little bit older. She's a guy now. She goes into this bar where Ethan Hawke works as a bartender, right? Mm -hmm. And she proceeds to tell him the story of how she had a kid and got kidnapped. And she became a man, basically. And... He's, and she's like, oh, but somebody kidnapped my baby. And so he's like, well, what if I can, you know, put the person in front of you that ruined your life and you could get away with it and like killing him or whatever, vengeance. Mm -hmm. So he takes her into the back room, him, it, whatever. And they end up going back in time. Oh. Like, what, 10 years, 15 years, something like that. Well, it's, Back to when she's actually still a girl. Well, she goes to get vengeance, or he goes to get vengeance or whatever, find out who kidnapped the kid, and bumps into her self, but as a man, <laughs> right? Okay. So, and they end up falling in love. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways... They fall in love, whatever, and they have a kid, but not before Ethan Hawke. He's jumping around in time, trying to fix stuff. He comes back for the male version of her and says, oh, we got to go, you know, back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, ends up going... You know, he ends up disappearing and pretty much abandoning her, which happened earlier in his life as her. Right. Like the same thing. So anyway, she has this kid. But then, so we find out that Ethan Hawke kidnaps the baby and goes back in time 20 years to the orphanage and drops the orphanage. The baby is her. So it's just this... And then... Wait, wait. I'm not, it's, okay. It gets even crazier. Okay. <laughs> so then they're trying to recruit him, her, her, him to be this agent that travels around in time fixing things before they happen. Like, 
Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, so later on down the line, after the whole bar thing, after she jumps into the past and impregnates herself and has yeah, herself so as a baby, she goes on this mission where she's trying to stop this guy who's bombing New York. Yeah. And she gets she he gets burned really bad and has to have reconstructive surgery on her face. Well it turns out that she's becomes oh my gosh. Ethan Hawk, who is this agent. <clears throat> <laughs> so then the whole thing process starts over again. It's like a paradox. Because she becomes Ethan Hawke, she goes back in time, meets herself in this bar, takes herself back in time to impregnate herself so she has herself as a baby, and then he takes it 20 years back in the past from there, drops it off at the orphanage, it's all the same person, and it just keeps happening over and over again. It's like 12 monkeys on like a different level. Yeah, yeah, and there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of holes, like, right. okay, where did this all start, you know? I mean, I had to... What you get with time travel movies, though. Yeah, but it's a big paradox, and everything's pre... Because that's like, why it's well, called like, predestination. It, like, like, where did it begin? Yeah. So it's all predestined anyway. It's all going to happen. Oh, and there's a... Uh, you find out at the end of the movie, the guy bombing, because all this time travel, they've been saving all these lives by going in, into the past. Right. And changing the past before all this these atrocities happen. <clears throat> well, it turns out... That this whole thing started because of this bomber, right? Is why they started these agents that go back in time and fix things. Sure. Well, <clears throat> Ethan Hawke gets decommissioned, but his tra time travel device doesn't stop working right. like it's supposed to yeah, when he gets whatever. decommissioned. So it ends up he can still jump around in time and ends up becoming this bomber that started the whole thing. Because he's like, well, it's done more good than bad, so I got to do these bombings in order for, you know, this agency to even happen in the first place. And for him to even basically exist as multiple wow. hymns. So he ends up meeting himself as an older man at the end of the movie that's the him doing the bombings and ends up shooting him but he still becomes him later on because closing, it's closing predestination because he figures out that you know it has done more good than bad so i gotta so he still makes that decision every it's a she yeah okay. even though he shoots himself for it he still becomes that later <clears throat> so that was the movie we watched the other night <laughs> and yeah so for Sorry if you wanted to see it and I spoiled it. Oh, it's okay. I didn't even but, exist in it. Yeah, it, it was pretty interesting. I mean, it was, you know, a lot of loopholes, but and confusing, but it was uh, it was good.